Howdy folks, it's Dream Jesus here. You know what I fucking despise? Kids. Now, as much as I hate those little shit heads, I do still have a decent dose of both humanity and reality. Something that a lot of people on Twitter, especially on Twitter, seem to lack. Now, I know that I'm hyping this up quite a bit. You know, maybe... Oh, it's a Almost as bad. See, I know I'm making this out political, but I'm sure that regardless of what political party you belong to, you're gonna find this awful, okay? The original tweet was lost, so I don't know what the original tweet said, but I stumbled across this thread that was arguing about how right pedophiles are. There's been this movement that's trying to justify pedophiles as part of the LGBT community or in society, neither of which are places that they belong. Basically, there was a tweet that... Basically, there was a tweet about this absolutely awful who had a kid in the past, and it reads, I myself have offended in the past, especially when I first realized my attraction to prepubescent children at age 14. I strive not to offend and prove that ex-offenders can be better. I don't believe all offenders are irredeemable. Change is possible if you yearn for it. And that is... The about the worst thing I've read, and I've read both Mein Kampf and the Communist Manifesto. The first point I want to kind of harp on, I guess, is the line about ex-offenders. There's no such thing as an ex-offender. This isn't something that you can just do and move past. This isn't a relationship. This isn't just a switch you can flip to just say, hey, uh, I f***ed a kid in the past, but uh, now I'm good because I haven't f***ed any more kids since. That doesn't happen, because at the end of the day, you still committed a crime. You still ruined a child's innocent. You can't just retract that. This isn't the same thing as making some edgy joke ten years ago than the brainless Twitter mob rushing after you to cancel you, alright? You are a sex offender. You are a rapist. You can do nothing to change that. I guess the second person asked for proof that this guy is a sex offender. The first person that I saw was a guy who screenshotted the original tweet and makes a comment here, but I bet you're gonna defend them lol, which, as much as I hate the unironic use of lol, I have to give this guy props for being a goddamn fortune teller. The second person asks, Have they done it since? To which the second person responds, Like a f***ing champ, saying, Does it really matter if it was recent or not? They still offended, bro. Which is a amazing point. You can't just take back what you did. You still molested that child. There's no such thing as an ex-offender. You're either an offender or you're not. It's that simple. You can't undo that. And then Pedro the pedophile responds with, Yes, it does, because one of those gets the X descriptor, which, first of all, I hate people who think they can win an argument by using big words, especially on Twitter. The average Twitter user has a room temperature IQ, and you using big words just doesn't help with that, alright? Nitpicking aside, though, you can't just stop being an offender. I know I sound like a broken record by saying this, but you realistically can't just end that from your past. I bet my entire hentai collection, and that's how you no, I'm serious, that if I ask an adult who had been raped as a child if they ever stopped being a victim, they'll say no. Because they're still the victim, just as the offender is still the offender. Then a third person with a profile that's actually pretty decent for Twitter, I'm not gonna lie. I wish I could show you, but I don't want to give anyone's handle in this, because as much as I hate pedophiles, I also don't believe in harassing them. At the same time, though, I won't stop you from looking up the tweets for you to do it yourself. That's all I'm gonna say. Anyway, a third person with a, a pretty good profile responds to Pedro the pedophile saying, no, once you hurt a kid, you can never come back from it. That's on you for life. There's no ex-offender. You're just an offender, which I gotta say is an amazing argument against Pedro over there, all right? Now, what would a pedophile do if he ran out of arguments, all right? Would he A, admit he was wrong and move on, B, say something intelligent, C, Say some stupid that the banger profile has no idea how to respond to, or D, nothing. Come on, vote. It, for those of you who have been in school longer in the fourth grade, you know that if you don't know the answer, it's always C. Pedro says, that's not how that works. And with that massive breakthrough in the pedophile movement, I think all the antis concerned for any child within a two-inch radius of this person have been effectively destroyed by facts and logic. I mean, who can argue with that flawless logic? Exactly. Me. No, but seriously, it literally is how that works. Let's say you're a murderer. Let's say, for the sake of the argument, 
you've only killed one person. Now let's also assume that you haven't killed in 10 years. Are you a murderer or an ex-murderer? A murderer, you say. So then, why don't we apply that logic to a child having to live the rest of their life with knowing that they were violated? Is it still an ex-offender or an offender? An offender. Hmm. Do you see how fucking stupid you are for even implying that someone can be an ex-offender? This next picture has nothing to do with the previous thread, but it still proves my point that Twitter users are f***ing out of pocket, alright? It reads, Child in my opinion, is okay if the child enjoys it to a degree. What the fuck? However, I don't think that's the case with adult rape. I know this is a serious topic, especially for HHT, which I'm assuming is Hunter Hunter Twitter. But thoughts? WRL, leave your feedback below. And after reading that, just like this person felt compelled to tweet this stupid I feel compelled to end my no suicide and no self harm deal. Unlike that person, I have enough sense not to, though. For now, at least. No, this is most definitely not a W. This L is bigger than the size of my which isn't saying a lot considering that two inches isn't a whole lot, but it's the exponential part of that that matters. Let's say this L is... 2 to the 69th trillion, 344 billion, 156,854,055th power. First person that solves that in the comments gets pinned. I don't think this person understands the concept of rape, though. I mean, rape means you don't enjoy it. I feel like that's pretty f simple to understand, even if you're not a child. Even if you are a child, it's easy to understand. Some people just don't deserve an internet connection because the shit that they make makes Mein Kampf look like a good read, alright? And if you thought this was bad, I did a cum reveal by coming on that Mega Man figure behind me for 1,200 followers on Yoshikage hands, so... That was a... Twitter moment right there. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications to help me get all my inconsistent apps uploads. Go follow my Instagram. Go follow my Twitter. Why not join my Discord and subreddit while you're at it? It's all linked below. And, uh, yeah. Uh, read it there. It's you, Space Cowboy.